Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 98 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to give you another tip on using the spot removal tool. Now, I have this image here and it's of this beach and let's just say we want to remove this piece of wood that is on the beach so of course we're going to open the spot removal tool and again like our other tips it doesn't matter if you're in clone mode or heel mode or what the size feather opacity of the brush is and we're just going to get a brush that's big enough to cover this piece of wood and we're going to click once and you can see that um, Lightroom automatically sampled over here now you probably know now, if we come off, you know, that doesn't look so great. You know, you could see there's still some edge there. You could drag this around. You probably already know that. And you could sample from another spot in the image. But if you don't want to drag this, and I'll tell you when this might come handy in a minute, is all you have to do is hit the forward slash key on your keyboard, and Lightroom will automatically choose another spot on the beach in this case so we're going to hit that forward slash key once and you can see it picked another spot and every time you hit that forward slash key it'll just keep sampling other areas of the beach now that one's a little better we have these the footprints kind of continuing with that one now when might this come in handy well there are some situations where you might not be showing the tool overlay and that most commonly happens if you have a lot of spots that you removed in one little spot like local area so let's say we're going to remove a lot of little spots right here and i'm right now i don't care that they don't look good or anything like that just i'm trying to make a point so we have all these little spots that are all kind of surrounding our chunk of wood and of course this might happen more often in a portrait maybe um, a person has acne or something and you have a lot of spots now you want to remove this chunk of wood but you have all these other spots on top of it and it's hard to get into the you know area so you could kind of drag in from the outside but that's not always optimal so what you would do most likely is you'd go down to this toolbar and if you're not seeing the toolbar hit the T key on your keyboard it toggles the toolbar on and off and you can see right here it says tool overlay and you would likely set that to never that way those overlays aren't showing so you could easily go on top of this piece of wood click once and replace it but now I don't like what it did well our overlay isn't there to drag around so you could just quickly hit that forward slash key and just keep hitting it until you get something that looks a little better in this case I'm not finding anything that looks a little better I probably should feather a little more and stuff like that but that's beside the point of this tip and I hope that helps you down the line maybe help you more effectively use that spot removal tool you never know when you might run into that situation but it could happen so that's it for this episode thank you everyone who watches my videos I truly do appreciate it I'll talk to you guys soon